Hello everybody, my name is Zool and welcome to another video. In today's video, I am super excited to be showing off a great tool for the Knights of the Old Republic modding community, KOTOR ModSync. KOTOR ModSync is a tool that allows users to quickly and easily install complicated mod list setups. It also allows people who maintain mod builds and lists to write instruction sets that can give you very precise control over what happens, including removing specific files, putting files in in a very specific order, and all that kind of stuff. Super excited to show this tool to you, and in this video, uh, I'm going to show it off a little bit, and then we're going to install the K1 mod builds from the KOTOR community portal together. A good example of how this tool is really powerful uh, is we're going to look here at a couple of entries on the KOTOR community mod builds. Uh, the first one we're going to look at here is an entry for the ultimate character overhaul. You'll see in the instructions here that they tell you to basically delete a couple of files before installing the mod. It's not something that's hard to do, but it'd be better if you didn't have to worry about it. So I've loaded up an instruction set for the K1 mod builds here in ModSync, and if I go over and open up the ultimate character overhaul, uh, we can see that there is some instructions. Um, so the first one is to extract the mod, then it deletes the files that need to be removed, and finally it moves all of the files that need to stay into the correct directory. Uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at here is uh, how this can even handle super complicated uh, instructions. So looking here at the patches, you can see there's a giant list of instructions. All these things you'd have to do manually are just handled for you by this tool. But let's go ahead and actually install and set up KOTOR ModSync for you. The first thing you need to do is head over to the link in the description and go over to deadlystream.com where you'll find the KOTOR ModSync mod page. From here, what you need to do is go over to the big button that says download this file. When that opens up, you'll be presented with a list of various versions. Grab the one that is applicable for you, in my case, that is Windows 10. And I've just dragged the downloaded file here to my desktop. You then need to extract it using an archiving tool. I'm using NanaZip, but you can use 7-Zip or WinRAR or whatever. Uh, and it's going to give you a folder with KOTOR ModSync inside it. Just take that out, put it somewhere safe. I'm just going to leave it here on my desktop. Uh, so if we open up the folder itself, we'll see there's a couple things in there, some documentation, a license, and the actual program. And what you're going to want to do now is just go ahead and launch that program, make sure it's working. When you first launch ModSync, you will be greeted with a console window, which you can see over here on my screen, and then the actual tool itself. Uh, the tool itself won't have any mods because we need to download an instruction set, which we're gonna do in just a moment. But before we do, it is important to make sure that you have a patcher option selected. Uh, by default, it should have hollow patcher selected. This is the correct option. Uh, you can see that there is TSL patcher and hollow patcher, and you wanna make sure hollow patcher is selected. Now, the tool itself isn't actually gonna be super useful until you download an instruction set. So let's go ahead and do that now by heading back to the KOTOR ModSync mod page, scrolling down to the bottom and grabbing a .toml instruction set file. Uh, the mod author has very graciously created uh, a couple of instruction sets for the KOTOR community mod builds. In this case, we're gonna install the KOTOR one full build, but grab whichever one that you're actually trying to install. And then the next step is to go ahead and download all of the mods from the mod lists. I will have the K1 uh, full mod builds linked in the description. You can see on my screen right now, this is kind of what the page is going to look like. Just go ahead and download each of the mods. There's instructions, it's very straightforward. It'll take you a little bit of time, but I promise you that it will be worth it. If you're a little uncertain about the installation of some of these files, I might cover that in a separate video, so check the description to see if I've actually gone ahead and done that. Uh, but without further ado, here's what it looks like when you have all the mods downloaded. So put them all into a single folder. In my case, I put them in a folder called K1 Full Mod Builds, and I just threw it on my desktop. Uh, so with the files downloaded and the instruction set downloaded as well, we can go ahead and launch KOTOR ModSync and go ahead and install this puppy. So when you got the program open, go ahead and click load installation files. And then what you need to do is select that TOML file you downloaded earlier. Uh, mine's on my desktop, so I'm gonna select it and hit open. You'll see on the left-hand side that a bunch of mods should populate. That's how you know that you actually loaded the instruction set. Then hit set directory. Uh, the first directory you need to select is the one where your game is installed to. Again, this is a fresh install of your game. I will throw the default locations on screen here. But in my case, it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, SW KOTOR. So get that folder and go ahead and select folder. Then it'll prompt you to select your mod directory. This is where we downloaded all those mods earlier. 
In my case, again, it's on my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the K1 Mod Builds folder and then click the Select Folder button. After that, click on Pre-Install Validation. This tool has validators that'll compare your files to those in the list. And it'll take a few moments, but you should get a pop-up. So in my case, you can see there's no issues. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate what it'll look like if it fails, because this is a very important thing for you to know. So I'm gonna remove a file here, and then I'm gonna rerun the validation. You'll see that it says some components failed to validate. Uh, so what do we do? Well, we go to the uh, console and we basically take a look at it. So you can see here, it covers all of the instructions, but it also has a red error section at the bottom. Uh, it says component trask without tutorials, instruction one extract failed because of missing archives. Uh, this is gonna be common for people if you accidentally download the wrong file, you forget to download the file. So check the console, it is gonna solve 90% of your errors. However, in our case, we don't actually have an error, so I'm just gonna rewind back to where we were. Uh, go ahead and hit okay. And then the step we have to take after this is to simply start and install. When you click start and install, you're gonna get a pop-up. It's gonna say, make sure you have you know, a vanilla install of Knights of the Old Republic, you can't have anything else going on and make sure this is the list you wanna install. Hit yes, it's then gonna ask you if you wanna use Hollow Patcher. Go ahead and hit yes to that. Then it's gonna ask if you're ready to install all mods. Go ahead and hit yes. Uh, and that's gonna be it. You're just gonna get the installation. It's gonna take a while. So, you know, go get a coffee or something and come back after we're done this so we can finish the final steps of the build. Uh, this part is not actually part of ModSync, but it is a part of the build that isn't handled for you. And that's the four gigabyte patcher. Now this is something a little bit separate and depending on whether or not you're using the widescreen options, uh, you'll need to do this at a different point. So now that you've installed the builds, you can go ahead and do uh, the widescreen patch as well as the accessories. I've done a video on that linked in the description and then follow it up by using the four gigabyte patch on the executable after you watch that video. So pretty much you're good to go with the builds after that. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Um, super excited to see what comes of this tool, but until next time I have been Zool and I hope that you have an excellent day.